Early to Dane's disappearance, there were unconfirmed sightings in parts of Reseda, Tarzana, Woodland Hills, and Northridge, California. Early information stated that Dane's behavior was strange in the days leading up to his disappearance. Dane started to sleep all day and was most active at night. So my partner Caesar and I decided to set out on a night search. At the time, there was information that Dane had been seen at a local gas station. So we decided to start there. When we arrived at the gas station, we noticed there was a tent behind it. So we approached and asked if they had any info on Dane. By any chance, have you seen this gentleman here? He's a 21 year old man. Yeah, I saw him a long time ago. This one. Yeah, he's the same person. Oh, it's the same person? Yeah, it's the same person. It's just different. Oh. Yeah, I saw him before a long time ago. Do you know where you would have seen him? Uh, right down near the um, tunnel. The tunnel? Yeah, it's right there. You go down the street and you, you see an underground tunnel. Interesting. So, how do you think I'd be able to get there? Uh, all you gotta do is just make a right. Yeah. And then turn and you make another right on the next street right there. This oh. one right there. Okay. The so like the right where the uh, the freeway is? Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, it's, it's my buddy. Okay. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'll go check it out. Okay. Oh, ma'am, well, what's your name? All right, well, nice to meet you. Thank you nice so much. You. All right, you take care. Have yeah, a good night. After being informed that Dane might have been seen in a tunnel underneath the 101 highway, we decided to go and take a look. I'd like to add that the following footage will be dark, as we decided that night we didn't want to attract any unwanted attention with bright lights, and only use our torches when it was necessary. Long guy. This guy sleeping right there. Uh, let me go get the poster. Uh. You want to check on the map? Huh? You want to check on the map first? What? What's on the other side? Now we've got like an escape route. Sure. It's a good idea. I wouldn't want to go in knowing that it's a dead lot and it's like 30 dudes in there. Yeah, it's just right. us two. Actually, it's not even on the map. You got the mace, right? Yeah. Where is it at? Uh, okay, cool. You want to hang on to it or just no, no, in my pocket? No, no, you're good because I got... <laughs> Wherever it's gonna be quick, quickest for you. And then just obviously if something occurs, make sure you tell them, hey, I got mace, I will spray you if you don't back off. Just give them a couple of warnings. You just never know. Never use it, but I'll check it out. There's a gentleman standing over there. Huh? There's a guy standing right in the middle. So far, I count one dude. That's one head. Main street on the other side, so that's good. I haven't seen anybody behind us. I also look underneath, too, see if you see any of his clothing. Blue? No. Park. Hey, how you doing, man? What's up? What's chilling, up? man. Hey, brother. Oh, chilling, man. I wanted to ask you. Uh, <clears throat> we're looking for this guy here, man. Would you happen to have seen him? Dang, no. No? No. Uh, someone else around the corner told us he might have come through this way. Oh, okay, no. Nope. No? No. Nah. Do you know by any chance, man, maybe where you think we might have better luck? Uh, I mean, where, at least where other people hang out. Well, sir. 
That way? Yeah. Alright. Um I have seen this dude probably before. Yeah. It's possible. However, if you've been looking around for this person, yeah. I think that's why somebody would say something. Okay. And um Yeah. It's probably pretty much it. Alright, man. Well I, hey. I, I, uh, I could possibly Before we continue, I wanted to quickly point something out. In a moment, you will see a car come to a stop on the right hand corner of the screen. It may be difficult to notice, but you can see that the street lights facing us are red, which means that the vehicle has the right of way. Seconds later, the car slowly pulls into the lot next to the tunnel, so Caesar and I cut our interaction short and leave. Little after that, you hear a honk. I point this out because what may seem like a friendly interaction may turn into something different. If we don't tread carefully. No bow, however, it's also possible maybe this guy does not, you said suffering from moral illness. Yeah. Maybe he does not want to be found. You know how Yeah, it is. no, I know how it is. Just, uh, his family's looking for him, that's all. But yeah. we're oh, just. His family's, he's definitely probably trying to run away. Also. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Right. But thanks, though, man. I appreciate right. that. Right, take, no problem. Take care, man. Hey, good luck. What of it? Someone needed that man. Yep. He's talking about us right now. Yeah. No sign of that sweater either. Talk Martins. <laughs> Several weeks later, the Searching for Dane Elkins Facebook group posted information of possible sightings in Bakersfield, California. So we decided to take a trip down there and follow up on search locations that were suggested by the Facebook group. If I can just have a minute of your time. We're just looking for this gentleman right here, if you had any information about him. His name is uh, Dane Elkins. Uh, he's the same person. Yeah. Yeah, this is the last, this is the last photo of him. Uh, he, uh, last known picture of him, yeah. He went missing about two months ago. Yeah, the family has reason to believe that, you know, he might have stopped by here or something. We don't live over here. We're oh. Through. oh, okay. Um, try downtown. I think I've seen him downtown. Okay. Thank you, man. Yeah, I think downtown. I appreciate that. By the get station. Okay, get station. Yeah, by Thank the you, man. Station. All right. My girl probably, I, I don't, I don't. No, no worries, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you guys for your time. Matter of fact, I think I did. That was him that I seen down there, downtown at the get station. All right. We'll definitely yeah, go out there. Go down there because I bet you you'll find him. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And that was just day before yesterday. All right. Thank you. You're yeah. Okay. Hey. So, um, you know that lady's saying that she see him. She seen him a day before yesterday. So you we had two people, different areas say that they recognize him. She's the third. All right. Let's go ahead and finish up here. We'll drive the rest down there and then go out to that to that station. Uh, all right, on the mission? To the mission, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, all right. Please join us on the next episode as we team up with some great volunteers in order to gather more info on Dane's whereabouts. If you happen to see Dane, try to get a good description as to what he is wearing and which direction he may be traveling to, as well as the time and date of sighting. Your safety is a number one priority. So call 911 and relay the information to emergency services. And if possible, take a picture discreetly as it may help identify him. Now I'd like to thank Jason from Black Snout Media for the assistance he provided with this episode. More of him and other great volunteers on the next one. Please share, like, and subscribe.